Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Left Shake Excel Master, and this is your friend Farah Sheikh. And today we are going to learn how to insert the blank on an empty row in Excel. Well, many times we face a problem that uh, we need to insert a blank row between each of our existing rows. And we know in Excel, just by selecting the row, we can insert the empty or just by selecting the row, right click and insert. This is the way we are aware that the Excel we can insert the rows. What happens when you have a large set of data? It is not feasible for us to select each and every row and then insert a row against that data. It will be a quite lengthy job and it will be quite tedious task as well. So how are we going to do it? Any guesses? Well, we have a simple solution for this problem. And it's a very simple trick, my friends. So what we will do, either we will select, we will take an helper column, we will either insert it before the data or end of the data. I prefer to always have it before the data. I'll call it as helper, with the help of the column. And we are going to fill the data by series, by the number one, till the existing data is available. And we are going to say it as fill as series. Now the same series, we are going to copy it. And after the data, in the same row, we are going to paste that series. Under the home ribbon tab, we are going to go to filter and we are going to select custom sort. Once you select the custom sort, it will ask you to expand the selection or continue with the current selection. Yes, we want to expand the selection. So it will expand the selection for the entire range of our data. And we are going to say it as a helper. And now we are going to sort this value as smallest to largest. And my data has it as true. Once you select it, great. Every alternate data, we have a blank row. Great. Yep. So this is how we do it. Well, in a situation where you wanted to insert two blank rows, then, then you will copy the series again. And we are going to paste it two times in the same column. After ending up this bottom. And then again, we will go to sort. The last spam selection, yes, we are going to select the helper and smallest to largest. So now against our every data we have two blank rows. I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video. So please push a like button, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update. And I'll be keep posting more Excel videos. So signing off for today, your friend Frash Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master.